Previously on Seven Cities. Five years from now, you'll be thanking me, not crucifying me. If you're going to work with me, you need to get rid of this. We need to meet. How can that just happen? Oh my God. Don't duck me. It won't be a good thing for you. It's Naveen. She is a piece of work. Did you come by my office today? I did not take anything. I don't know why you're freaking out. Everything goes bad when Cindy's around. You one of our heroes? I'm tired of you and Sarah parading around here like you're better than me. Truth is, my family's got more money than both of yours combined. Yeah, 
Well, I bet with all that money, they'd be really proud to know their daughter is sleeping her way through college. to get the prescription filled? Eighty dollars a pill. I can't afford that. I don't know what to do. That woman has been there for me since I can remember. And I would do anything for her. I don't gotta tell you about loyalty. I can do anything for Mr. Cole. So, uh, what's for breakfast? thinking maybe taking in a matinee or going for a walk in the park. Uh, matinee sounds good, but I'm not in the mood much for sitting in the dark right now. I hope you understand. No, that's fine. I mean, as long as we're together, that's all that matters, right? Eggs are good. A liar. Mm -mm. A meat. Nothing changes. Okay. I just, I'm in a situation that needs some tweaking. Do you understand? Yes, we'll still see each other, so don't worry about that. <laughs> All right, Jimmy. I love you too. All right, bye. What was that all about? Yes. Come in. Miss Taylor. Hi. Yes, Cindy. Is this a good time to go over your calendar for today? Absolutely. What do we got? Uh, Samantha called. Edward Coleman's 3 o'clock needed to be rescheduled. He'll meet with you in a couple of days. Okay. Uh, you have a 115 conference call with Steinway Contractors. Lunch at noon with Dan Falcone. Uh, call your mom. And Mr. Fontaine needs to see you in the conference room in approximately 15 minutes. He said it's urgent. Urgent? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, inform Mr. Fontaine that I'll be there. Sure. Anything else? No, that's it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> God, Mr. C, what happened? I'll live. 
I'll get you a cold pack and a good stiff drink, and I'll bring it up to your room. Thank you, Contessa. Okay, go easy. Angela, I'm fine. The doctor said I was just shaking up a bit. I don't even know why you had me go to the emergency room. You know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, well, I bet with all that money, they'd be really proud to know their daughter is sleeping her way through college. What's going on in here, Cindy? Nothing. It doesn't look like nothing. Miss Cindy's got a big mouth. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle? You've made it your business to make this entire household miserable. If you're not happy here, just leave. That would make you happy, wouldn't it? It wouldn't make me sad. Me either. <laughs> Don't suddenly grow a pair now that Sarah's here. Nadine, do you want to fight? Is that what you really want? Cindy, beat this bitch's ass. Me? Yes, Cindy. Beat this bitch ass. I gotta go to work. Well, that's that. Actually, it's not. Let me tell you something real quick. One, you will not intimidate Cindy anymore. Two, you will respect this household or you can leave. Okay. Three, you will pay your rent on time. And four, if you don't get the first three right, I'm not responsible for what happens to you after that. I'm so scared. False expectations appear in real. Okay. Now what's that mean? That's what fear is. F-E-A-R. Okay, you can spell. See, you don't have to fear me, maybe, but I want to let you know, if you break any of those rules, there won't be any false expectations. There will be a parent or real ass whooping. Okay? What was that all about? What are you talking about, Miss Anita? Don't try to play me. The phone call. It was just a friend. What kind of friend? No type. A friend. That's all it was. Uh, it can get real serious when you're talking about a male type friend. What are you talking about? Be specific with me. Don't play. I'm listening. Met no disrespect to you or your home, but you know the situation with me and Ricky. It's been three years, and I have a friend. It's, that's all I can say. What you trying to say? I mean, don't beat around the bush. Make it plain. Both of us are adults. What's going on? I've been seeing somebody. I've been seeing somebody. And he's been there for me and for Maya. How long has this been going on? At least two years. How could you do that to me? Under my roof, as good as I've been to you and Maya. And you're going to bring somebody in my house when you know that's disrespecting me and my son. What were you thinking? This is a difficult situation for me. It's difficult. Obviously, you wasn't thinking. We're going to have to discuss this because I can't have it. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm totally disappointed in you because I thought I knew you better than that. I understand that you're young and that you don't want to be alone, but at least you could have the decency to tell me that you're seeing somebody else so I could make the decision whether I wanted to keep you here or let you move out on your own. So what are you going to do, Mr. Nita? I'm not sure. I'm just not sure right now. Because I love you like a daughter. 
and I'm not being rude, crude, or uncool. I don't want to throw you and Maya in the street. So you're just going to have to give me some time to think about this. Because I'm, I'm just kind of padded up to here. Happy couple! Hi, are either of you veterans? And you are? Gail Chase. She's a newswoman. I'm covering the Memorial Day gathering for my show, On the Chase. And your names are? Uh, Craig and Aaron Anderson. I just got back from my last tour in Iraq, and, and my wife runs a pub in a local town. Interesting. So tell us, Mr. Anderson, what's it like defending your country on foreign soil? Well, you know all those stories you hear about the horrors of war? Yeah. All those stories to the tent pile. Could you be more specific, Mr. Anderson? Uh, Miss Chase, my husband has seen things that most of us couldn't even imagine. I see. Well, has this affected your marriage at all? I don't think I understand the question. Well, for instance, many times when our troops return home, they suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder, or while the husbands are away, the wives will play. Not my wife. Miss Chase, you are the reason that most people despise the media. I'm just doing my job, Mrs. Anderson. Is that what your job consists of? Accusing military wives of infidelity? I ask you two questions, Mrs. Anderson. I find it interesting you're fixated on the question about fidelity. Well, and I find it interesting that with the questions that you ask, that you still have all of your teeth. So how are you spending your nights while he was gone, Miss Anderson? Miss Chase, if this is your pathetic attempt to masquerade bitchiness as journalism, I suggest you go prey on somebody else. Again, avoiding the question. Uh, Miss Chase, People I think she answered your question, okay? I think you need to go. I just, you just, just go. Just go. Just... No. Well, her behavior was suspicious at best. What a shoot, shoot. Well, whatever is done in the dark will eventually come to light. This is Gail Chase, on the chase, in the Seven Cities. Now, why did you do that, Angela? I don't have time to take off from work. I have to focus on Harbor Square. No, Harbor Square and everything else can wait. Now you're going to take a few days and you're going to rest. Well, well, no what? Well, what? Give me that. No, now look, rest is rest. Come on. <sighs> you're going to work. <sighs> no worrying about work. I'm going to bring up some James Bond movies, some of your favorites. And I got some really cool little puzzle books that you're going to just love. Oh, uh, one more thing. We're going to have a little house guest for a few days. Wait. What? A guest? Who? Uh, listen, I promise it won't interfere with anything. And when you're better, I'll introduce you. Now, Contessa's coming up. She's going to take care of you while I'm gone. I have just a few errands to run. So. I want you to, in the meantime, to get some rest. Try to relax, please. Try to rest. Sweet dreams. My turn. Your turn to what? To give you some good news. That crap you gave me the other day about Ricky just didn't cut it. Oh, it hit me. Alright. I've been offered a position as partner in my firm. For what? Will you stop smacking in my ear and listen? I said they offered me partner. Uh, what? Mom, did, did you talk to mom yet? No, no, uh, not yet. I'll, I'll tell her later. 
Well, congratulations. I guess nothing can stop you now. Yeah, nothing. What did you miss the most while you were over there? Waking up next to you. Mary, I want us to have a baby. What? When did this happen? You never didn't say anything about it. I mean, really? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it. Uh, oh, that was just Donovan. He was reminding me about something. You want to have children? Oh, well, don't you? Well, of course I do, but but we just never spoke about it before. Well, that's my last tour. Now's a good time to start. We can start tonight. Oh, fun. I heard something, you know. I heard something. I, 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 I